Hi guys, welcome to episode 32 of my Pleasant View Let's Play. Today we are not in Pleasant View, we are in Blue Water Village, and I want to talk about my decision regarding the Blue Water Village series. I got a lot of great feedback and comments from you guys, and I decided what I wanted to do is I don't want to take away from my Pleasant View series. I don't want to take time away from my Pleasant View series because it's really what I love, and I know you guys like it too. Uh, but I do want to incorporate the Blue Water Village characters into the story, especially because they are technically, it's like a sub-neighborhood of Pleasant View. It's attached to Pleasant View. All of these sims come in and out of Pleasant View. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly integrate the characters into the Pleasant View story as we need them. Um, I do eventually plan to play all of these families, but right now we obviously need Malcolm, so we're going to add him to the Pleasant View story. Um, as we need the characters in the rest of the story, we'll play them. But today we are here with Malcolm Landgrab. And you guys, tell me what you think about that. Do you think that's a good idea? I mean, that's pretty much what I've decided, but I'd still like to hear your thoughts on it. Um, okay, so it says, Ruthless, cunning, brilliant, ridiculously wealthy. These are just a few words the locals use to describe the Landgrab family, whose entrepreneurial ambitions can't be stopped by anything but their own mistakes. When you have this much money, you're your own worst enemy. So we can see Malcolm, Malcolm Landgrab is pretty rich. He has 195, a net worth of 195,000 simoleons. We are going to play him, and today is his wedding day with Dina. They've been dating for a while. Um, he is a lot younger than Dina, and they don't have the greatest chemistry, but she managed to persuade him to fall in love with her anyway. And look at this. The first thing he wants to do is get married to Dina, so we're going to lock that one in. Let's take a look at his house, which I absolutely love his house. It's got a pool, a hot tub, um, like a family room down here, nice kitchen, um, and dining area. He's got a garage, which is good because Dina has a car. Oh, that's just like, it's not complete. I'll have to fi finish that and make it the garage. Um, okay, so we've got the master bedroom with bathroom up here. And we've got a study over here. But because we are moving uh, Alexander in, he's going to need a bedroom. We're probably going to have to make this his bedroom and move all of Malcolm's um, office stuff somewhere else. And there's also this nice big deck back here upstairs and he's got a big deck downstairs as well so he's got a lovely home that I'm sure Dina cannot wait to get her hands on the first thing I'm gonna do is get everything set up for the wedding but I want to take a look at Malcolm's personality so he that lifetime want does not make sense for him he's actually a business owner and he owns two businesses in Blue Water Village so we're going to change his lifetime want. Um, let's check out his personality. He is a Gemini. Of course, he's a fortune sim. He's pretty sloppy, just like Dina, which means they're definitely going to need a maid. Um, he's pretty outgoing and active. Not very playful or nice. He is. He's serious. He likes making money. He doesn't have time to mess around and play around, um, unlike Dina, who's very playful. Let's see, they've got, he's got 26,000 simoleons in funds, which is pretty good. Dina's going to be bringing several thousand. I think she has about, I don't know, 13 or 14,000 in her bank account. And she's also got um, several thousand in cash, but she's going to sell her condo and bring even more. Oh, look, here goes Lucy Burb walking by. She's pregnant. Okay, so now we've got that out of the way, we're going to get everything set up for the wedding. Okay, we've set everything up for the wedding in the backyard. Of course, Dina said to spare no expense. So we've got a buffet table, cake, I put out some tables for people to sit outside, and we set up a nice wedding arch with flowers and lots of seats for all of their guests. I wanted to look at Malcolm's friend or uh, relationship panel here and see if he even has any friends and he doesn't just Dina and looks like he's getting to know Samuel McDaniel pretty well 
Um, he knows Fabian a little bit, but so he doesn't really have anybody to invite. Um, but we will invite everybody that Dina knows, basically. All right, Malcolm, we're ready to go. He's over here writing in his diary. I wonder if we know his hobby. Probably not. Nope. How about his and his turn ons? Travel and pet lover. Well, he must like that about Dina that she has two dogs and she's gonna be bringing those with her to this household. So that's good. Hopefully he likes animals. Let's check out his interests. He's interested in culture. Um, he likes animals okay. He just likes women who like animals a lot. That's kind of strange. And work. He's maxed out on work. Work and culture. I'm gonna send him to the bathroom and then he's gonna call um, and throw the wedding party, which he also wants to do. Alright, Malcolm has invited the guests. I did teleport over a few of Fabian's friends that he didn't know. Um, and we'll see who all shows up that he invited. He could only invite eight people. So he tried to invite uh, the people that Dina were, was closest to. Oh, here they come. Alright, so we've got Fabian, of course, Alexander, Gia, Bobby Broke, Darren and Brandy are here, because Brandy is Dina's best friend. Brandy thinks that Malcolm is hot. I don't know why Malcolm's um, plum bob is glowing pink. It's supposed to be white because he's in platinum. I hope I'm not starting to have some texture issues. Some visitors have also arrived to invite us to the neighborhood. Well, I guess you can greet them and they can come to the party. It's Wanda Tinker, Lisa Ramirez, and Gilbert Jacket is here. I've got to fix this. This is a default replacement shirt, and it's got some clipping in the back, and it's driving me crazy, so I might have to try to find another shirt for that. Okay, well, we're going to get right to it and have them get married right away, and then we'll continue the rest of the party. So let's get married. We're going to move in Cookie, Susie, and Fabian into Malcolm's home. I hope everybody comes out here. Dina's wearing a nice black dress. I got a default replacement for that sleazy dress that she normally wears. Wow, Darren thinks she looks really hot in her, in her black wedding dress. <laughs> Aww. Oh no, the tree's in the way. <laughs> well, I missed the kiss because the tree was in the way. I guess I should have thought about that. Okay, we want to change their last name to Malcolm's last name. And Dina joined the family and brought 12,544 simoleons. That's all she brought? That's all she got for her condo? I thought she had more than that in cash. Okay, I don't understand that. But I guess it doesn't matter too much because they have uh, Malcolm's money too. I'm going to force them to kiss again while everybody's still here. Come on. Oh, they're going to go kiss way over there in the trees. That's nice. <laughs> and, of course, Dina wants to go on vacation. I'm going to lock that in for her. Um, I think they might take a nice island vacation. That would be really good for them. Um, he wants to do the same thing. 
So that might be one of the first things that we do when we play them next round is send them on a nice honeymoon. And I didn't send them right away now because um, I didn't want to play them for more than just this day just to get them married. And I just saw Eva's formal dress. Look how pretty that is. That looks so cute and that looks so her too. Pretty sure that is a default replacement I downloaded not too long ago too. Okay, well they got married. Let's serve this buffet now. It's like a little past lunchtime. People are probably getting hungry. Serve the buffet and then come and cut the wedding cake. Usually everybody ignores the buffet and just wants some wedding cake. Come on, Dina. Wedding cake time. Oh, Fabian's going to dig right in and get him some turkey. And now he's here. I don't know where the dogs are. I'll have to check for them and put their bowls and stuff down. Dina did bring all of her furniture with her, but I don't know how much she's going to get to use. <laughs> I'm going to take a screenshot of him. Just give, He's giving her a bite. He's not shoving it in her face. Gilbert's getting some turkey too. I'm glad to see people are eating the buffet this time because they didn't touch it at my last wedding. I just think Eva looks so pretty in her formal dress. Here comes Wanda. Everybody's having a good time. Where are the rest of the guests? Oh, the kids are over here playing. Wanda's going to eat inside by herself. Brandy's over here playing with Bobby. This is a big lot. They have a lot of room to spread out. <laughs> oh, there's little Ivan. Ivan is so cute. He's like one of my favorite kids in that generation. I can't pick favorites, though. I love all my Sims. Okay, so Dina has the last name of Dina. She's Dina Landgrab the Fourth. So we're gonna have to go into Sim PE and change that. All of Malcolm's spouse. If Malcolm gets married, his spouse and his children all get the four on the end of their name. So you have to go into Sim PE and change it, which I will do after I finish playing this family. And Malcolm is quite a bit younger than Dina. He is only 30 years old. Dina, on the other hand, is 43. So she's 13 years older than him. I don't know how Dina's going to feel about that. She might want to take some elixir of life to get closer in age to him. Well, I looked over and because I heard somebody like making an angry noise, and Eva decided she's gonna kill the flowers. I don't know what she's so angry about. She hates those flowers. Look at her. <laughs> oh wow, Eva. Um, okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. I hope you're happy. You killed all the flowers that you could get to. Okay, the wedding party was a roaring success. Congratulations. It was a roof raiser because we actually got all the activities in. They got married. They had cake. Everybody had fun together. So the wedding party is over. I'm going to play this family for a little bit longer just so I can get Dina and uh, Fabian settled into their new house. Like I said, Dina did bring all of her stuff with her. She also brought Mortimer's grave, which I'm going to put out in the back. We're still waiting on his ghost to show up before I send him to the cemetery. So I hope Malcolm doesn't mind. We're putting Dina's ex-husband's grave in your backyard. And after Dina finishes eating, we'll get all this wedding stuff cleaned up. I'll move the cake into the kitchen. And 
we'll unpack some of Dina's stuff. I mean, Malcolm's house is, like, very nicely decorated, so I don't want to just throw all of Dina's crap in here, but if there's anything she can't, we can use of hers, we'll put it in. And then we'll have to redo this bedroom for Fabian as well. And it's 6 p.m. Um, on Monday, and normally I wouldn't let them play until 6 p.m., or normally I wouldn't play them until 6 p.m. because I want their ages to be the same as everybody else's, but I'm going to let them have this one extra day. And when we play them next round, we'll just play them for one less day, obviously. Um, just because this is a special occasion. So Dina is now 44 years old, Fabian is 17, and Malcolm is 31. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock at night. I was just putting the finishing touches on the house. Um, and I was looking around to see what everybody was up to. Dina just called me over, and I have a sneaking suspicion. She just got out of bed. Oh my god, you guys. She, uh, is pregnant. She is freaking pregnant. I can't, I'm just, I'm speechless. She's pregnant, and I'll give you one guess who the father is. It's not Malcolm. <laughs> it can't be Malcolm. She woohooed with Dawn last night before she got married. And she hasn't woohooed with Malcolm in much longer than that. What is she going to do? Oh my god. So I guess Risky Woohoo was working um, at the worst possible time for Dina. She's worried. She's so worried. You know what, Dina? You should be worried because um, if Malcolm finds out this is not his baby, he's probably going to kick you to the curb. I cannot believe this. Oh, boy. Um, okay. <laughs> this is unexpected drama here. Um, so, let's figure out what we're going to do about this. Um, first of all, let's make sure that the father is not Malcolm. So, I'm going to use ACR, which I put back here and made it look like a rose bush so it would blend in better. Um, there it is. Pregnancy scanner. The father is Don Lothario. <laughs> Tina has been pregnant for eight hours and the number of babies expected is one. <gasps> Dina, what have you done? You're going to ruin everything. She gave up everything she owned. She sold her condo. She moved her child, her son Fabian, into Malcolm's mansion and Malcolm has no idea that she's knocked up by Don. Her only option is she's got to tell Malcolm it's his. She's got to try to pass this baby off as Malcolm's and get Malcolm to raise it as his own. So, Dina, go and talk to Malcolm. Tell him that you're pregnant with his baby. Hopefully he won't figure it out because I did download the mod, the pregnancy relationship change or whatever it was, where the Sims can figure out if the baby is not theirs. But I think they have to have a certain number of logic points. I don't know. I didn't really look into it that much. I just sort of downloaded it for later because I didn't expect this to happen. Um, what am I doing here? I want to look at his, his skills. He doesn't have any logic, so I'm hoping he's not going to be able to figure it out. <laughs> he's just going to accept it. Um, okay. Rub belly. Let's see if he accepts it. <laughs> Alright, they're still chatting about kissing or romance or something. Money. She's like, I love all your money, Malcolm. It makes me want to kiss you. <laughs> She's still talking about money. Gold bars, sacks of money, and he's like, yes. See, they share a love of money. They're really good together. If she can just pull this off, if she can just make Malcolm think this is his baby. Okay, um, rub her belly. See that she's pregnant and accept it as your own. 
Okay, he seems to uh, not realize that it's not his. He doesn't uh, think it's strange that, you know, the timing or anything. I guess he's like, yeah, we woohooed, it must be mine. He trusts her. He shouldn't, but he does. Uh, so yeah, she's going to have Don's baby and she's going to tell everybody, including Malcolm, that it is his. That it's Malcolm's. We're going to try to raise this baby as a land grab, and oh, nobody's ever going to know. She's not even going to tell Don. Well, she's going to have to tell Don, because he's going to end up paying child support for this baby. He's going to be the only one who knows, and he's going to keep his mouth shut. Because he doesn't want the responsibility of any more children anyway. He's going to let Malcolm raise the child, and he's going to quietly pay Dina child support, and nobody else is ever going to know about this terrible secret that Dina has. <laughs> so I think this will be a good place to end this episode and when we play them next round uh, Dina will be giving birth to Don Lothario's baby who will actually be raised as a land grab by Malcolm. Before we go I'm just going to check on Fabian. He has nowhere to sleep. Oh I forgot about that. I'm going to throw a bed upstairs for him. Um, let's see, Adina brought his bed along, so we're just going to get his bed out. I'm going to stick it right here. Oops, no, 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 no. We're just going to, ah, I've got move objects on. Okay, he's, he's just going to sleep right there for now, and then we'll decorate this better for him next time we play. I just want to give him a place to sleep so I don't feel guilty. All right, so I'm sending everybody to bed. Um, this was quite the day. Malcolm and Dina are now married, and oh boy, Dina. Oh, I forgot about this clock in here. Does this wake them up? We're taking the clock out and putting it in the hallway. I don't think that should be in the bedroom. Alright, well, we got Dina and Malcolm started on their life together, and the next round will continue that. So, I appreciate you watching this episode. It was quite exciting. Um, a lot of drama is going to be happening in the next episode when Dina, or not the next episode, but the next round when Dina finally gives birth. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload new videos. You can also visit my blog at PleasantSims.com if you're interested in any of the mods I use, my gameplay rules, or if you want to see my family trees and sim profiles. Again, I really appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you with the next episode very soon where we're going to be playing Nina Caliente.